Welcome to the Hear My Heart broadcast where I talk about the matters of the heart. You can't understand a person without getting to the root, which is hearing them. I am your host, Tiffany Rochelle, affectionately known as the People's Cheerleader. Here's something I want to share about me. I'm an author, a speaker, a heart, and a motivational coach, and I'm so excited that you've tuned in and we have the opportunity to grow together. I'm here to encourage and motivate you to be the best you ever. If you're feeling a little stuck or stagnated or you're having a hard time getting over some things, please know you're not alone and that you've come to the right place and you're listening to the right person to help you through that. So let's dive into today's show of Hear My Heart. Here we grow. Hey y'all, my pastor did some good teaching on today and I am so very thankful for Dr. Powell, but there is something she said that captured my attention. What she said was, don't quit when God is trying to equip you. (laughs) I hope y'all heard that. Listen, we all have fell on tough times. We all have had times where we felt just like giving up. But in those times, don't quit. Those times are equipping you. It's developing you. It's making you. So you say, What do you do when bad times turn into unbearable times? Now, who hasn't had that question? That's something, if we all are being honest, many of us have asked that question and we've asked it several times in our lifetime. However, comma, the answer to that question escapes far too many of us. In an instant, what seems like an already bad situation has now become unbearable. Have you ever felt like when that moment lasted the whole day and that day has now turned into a month just like that? Do you have relationships that continue to make withdrawals and no deposits? And you find yourself asking God, how can I keep going? The rubber ain't meeting the road and I feel like I'm about to drown. When we become desperate friends, we cry out in desperation, which is an entirely different kind of prayer. When you're desperate, you pray differently. There is something that stirs up in your soul that's crying out for deliverance and will push you past those quitting places. Friend, I want to share with you, God hears the cries of his people. He has done it before now and he's moved on their behalf. Sweetheart, I want to share with you, he will do it for you too. There ain't no mountain high enough. There ain't no valley low enough. There is no river that's wide enough to keep him from getting to you and helping you to push past the quitting place. So pray and keep praying. Believe and keep believing. Forgive and keep forgiving. When you get in those times of quitting, get wisdom from godly counsel. Guard your space, guard your peace, guard your mind, and guard your heart. Do what it takes to push through. Anybody can quit, beloved, but everybody can't hold on. So let me encourage you on today. Hold on. Don't give up. Push past your quitting place. Pray through quitting. When you stop living, you start dying. And baby, we shall live. Don't let the condition you're in dictate to you that it's the end. This condition will not be the last word. Don't create excuses for these things. There are no excuses in life, but you do have choices. Don't spend your life empowering those excuses. Brothers and sisters, I must say this. If you don't remember nothing else I said, know 
it's always too soon to quit. Don't give up. Don't give in. Your family, your purpose, your calling, they're all worth fighting for. You've been equipped for this. So I'm going to say to you, don't quit because you're being equipped. <laughs>